Hey guys and welcome to Technology. My name is Salman and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Autel Maxicom MK808BT. Now this is the Bluetooth version. This does come in an older version that is without Bluetooth. It has cables uh, but you know it just does not have BT in the name. Now this particular one is something that I would call a professional entry level uh, car scanner. Now why would I say professional entry level? Because Autel does offer a variety of other car scanners as well which is more expensive and can do much more detailed jobs than this particular one can do and this one here is uh, priced at a price of about $500 on Amazon I will leave a link to the uh, in the description to the listing and some of the specifications of this product now let's go ahead and boxes it's just come in a nice neat hard box that uh, it seems pretty good quality I have removed the accessories outside of the box because it, just to speed up the process and to make the video shorter. You do get uh, instruction manuals over there and then you get a bunch of uh, basic accessories for this that is the ink that includes the power wall charger for the house, a lanyard cable that you can use on the scanner and uh, two USB cables this is one of them the other one is already connected to my car but this is a shorter one the other one is a longer one so one you can use for charging the other one you can use for uh data data exchange between your computer data transfer and updates between your computer so the box is really neat there's not much in the box to show you but except now this is the scanner over here this is how it looks it has it's not really heavy uh it's not really light it's just got a medium amount of weight to it but it's nothing that will kill you uh, so this is a 7 inch screen over here you have the uh, Maxicom badging you have Autel on the top you do have a bunch of connections over here that I'm going to talk about this is the uh, on the left you do have an OTG connection uh, which is used for charging you do have a SD card slot you do have a HDMI cable for uh, obviously if you want to connect, uh, connect to a bigger screen and view your information there you do have a USB for obviously this is used for um, data sharing and you know you can use this for, for uh, um, connecting a pen drive as well and then you have the power on and off button and then last but not least you do have the OTG connector itself over here this is the Bluetooth version so you can kind of use this as as Bluetooth as well as you can use this by wire if you want to and you do have stand over here to of course uh, help this to stand and I'm just going to connect this and I'm going to be back and then I'm going to show you more detailed information about the tablet. Okay, so now that we have looked at the tablet itself, let's go inside and dig deeper and I'll show you what comes inside the software and what all can we do with this system. So basically, this runs on an Android operating system in the background, currently running on KitKat firmware. And, you know, once you log in, once you turn on the tablet for the first time you're going to see this menu and it's going to ask you a few it's you're going to get some pop-up messages saying uh to connect it to the wi-fi and then it's going to ask you to register on the autel system um and then once you do that you have full access to the maxicom uh application over here and like i said this is running on android just to prove that this is the android system you can see this is the uh, old android interface if you guys remember from kitkat so once you are done registering your grader with this system over here and you do have uh, one year of free update i'm not exactly sure what happens after that one year but i'll try to find out and i'll write it in the description below okay so you once you open this you have a bunch of stuff you do have diagnostics which i'm going to show you this is diagnostics and you can obviously get diagnostic information about your car let's go ahead and quickly diagnose uh, get into diagnostics so you can do auto scan which i just did and it's going to scan your win and it's going to pop it up so this is my win over here which is correct once if you can just make sure it's correct and then click ok it's going to go ahead and dig deeper it sometimes takes a little bit of time but not much and my particular car is japanese made in japan actually and I'm going to do this one. So it's going to go ahead and scan all the systems on board, whatever systems are available. This my The current car I'm using is an FJ Cruiser. It's not very tech savvy. It's not very tech loaded. So, you know, 
you don't have a lot of technology in there so it does not have that many sensors and all that stuff it's pretty basic and that's how i like it so another thing i'd like to uh, talk about uh while this loads is that i did feel that the tablet is fairly responsive and it's good it functions well and it's not slow or anything you know despite running on kitkat and all that it, it runs decently well and there's no lag or anything as of now um we're going to go and diagnose diagnosis and then auto scan so it's going to go ahead and scan all the systems on board and it's going to tell us if there is any fault and then if you want to see more information about something you can click on that i'll show you in just a second let these all get scanned so once it scans it's going to communicate with the ecu So it's going to say pass no fault no fault because there's no fault in the system and then you can go dig deeper in that and okay and then you can go and dig deeper in that and you can get live data about the engine for example i clicked on the engine right now so i can get more information about the engine including rpms the engine temperature and all that good stuff oh i'm not i'm not interested in that right now but you know this is basically the diagnostics uh, you can get a lot of information depending on how a technical technically advanced your car is you can get even more information about your car i'm just gonna go back really quick just being really careful with the buttons and that is the diagnostics part now you do have services services basically somewhere where you can perform a bunch of services like uh, if you have installed new tire pressure monitors you can go and tpms and uh, program that to your car so your car recognizes those new monitors you can obviously program keys i have done this i have programmed nissan ultima intelligent key and it worked flawlessly the only drawback i would say is that some of the menus are not labeled properly or in you know, directions are not clear sometimes and i wish they were a little bit more clearer and a bit more proper labeling other than that it functions well it does the job well and uh, you know it's, it's a fabulous system uh you do have a bunch of other stuff you know like brake bleed if your system uh, is capable of doing that some systems are some cars are and you can see all those systems you can perform some kind of services on the car like such and then going back home you do have data manager so this is basically your recorded information from the data and then you have settings which is obviously settings for this particular application you have shop manager that's uh, that but that's basically like if you if you own a shop you can record customer information or what kind of diagnostics you've done it's basically like a notebook kind of thing where you can record all your information updates is basically how you can update the software uh vci manager is something related to connecting this to the computer for firmware updates and all that academy is somewhere where you would self-explanatory somewhere where you would learn uh, information about how to use tablet function viewer is basically somewhere where you would go and input your car information and it'll give you what all functions it's this particular machine is capable of performing on your vehicle remote desktop is basically i think i, I haven't tried this i think this is basically something like you could go into uh, you could have somebody else access this system so that they can go ahead and read all the information on this and all that something like that i'm not exactly sure but uh then you have support where you can contact autel if you have any support related to the uh support questions related to the system quick link is basically a quick link to some of the various automobile uh support and you know knowledge base websites like all data all data for example provides information about all your cars diagrams and you know information on how to assemble a particular part you know if you want to assemble a let's say um an engine it's just going to give you the whole diagram where all the bolts go and all that so you know you have an idea of how uh, something goes on how something is fitted moving further you do have uh, maxi fix now maxi fix is one of the best i would say one of the awesome features on this device maxi fix fix is basically some place where you would go to in order to actually uh it's like a forums for her um 
guys who fix guys who work on cars so just like reddit or something like that you can go over here and let's say you're having trouble diagnosing an issue so you can go ahead and ask and people are going to respond or you can go ahead and respond to people's questions about some queries or some problems that they're having so it's a community basically where you can ask and get questions answered which is a good feature so now you might ask after seeing all this what is my take on this system now basically like i said initially in the video uh, this is a professional yet entry level system it has um, a lot of features that you would need so if you're basically a novice uh, you're basically just starting up with uh, being a mechanic or working on cars or whatever you know you work on cars on your own or you would like a more professional system this is something that you would want to get started with rather than spend two thousand dollars or five thousand dollars whatever it might be to get a more professional system you want to get hands on with the system first then you get you get once you get more acquainted you can move on to the higher systems i i would personally say that this is a great system for someone who's starting and it's easy to learn yet i i do think that they should have better labeling uh, of some of the menus the support for vehicles on here is vast i do feel that they have a lot of vehicles that they support and they constantly keep updating this which is a good thing i did find that there are some manufacturers also over here i didn't expect them to be here but they were here like uh, you know you have mahindra and uh, tata and then Marty Suzuki, which is actually some of the car manufacturers from my country where I am originally from, India. So that's a really good thing. You do have a support for a wide variety of uh, manufacturers, a wide variety of cars. I'm not sure exactly how they would work with those cars, but I'm pretty sure it'll work really well and it it would recognize the car's computer really well. So overall, I, I really like the system. I want to get more hands-on with the system before I give you a more detailed view. I will make another review of the system after using it for maybe a few months. But for now, initial impressions and initial review of this product is I really like this and I would seriously recommend this for somebody who's getting started and who wants to get a professional system. Uh, the good thing about this is this has Bluetooth as well. So, you know, if you are doing something in your engine, you can take this and you can keep it there and you can see the information while you're working on the car and all that good stuff. So that's about it, guys. If you have any comments or questions uh, or any queries or any suggestions that you'd like to see or something that you'd like to see in the next video you'd like to know about that I haven't discussed, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to uh, help you guys out and make more uh, videos on this product. Uh, thank you very much again and see you next time on technology. Please do subscribe and do like the video. Thank you.